Hi, I'm here with Christina Bloom, the founder of the dating website findyourfacemate.com. Christina, please tell us a little bit about what led you to start your business. Well, unfortunately, four years ago, I was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And one thing cancer does is that it, it makes you prioritize your life in a whole different way. It, you focus completely differently. And I decided, one, I want to spend time with my children. Two, I was hopefully going to fall in love again. And three, I was going to be able to help others find love. In college, I, you know, I didn't really connect with anyone in a romantic way. And it wasn't until after college I met my first husband, Peter. And he was a, I knew he'd be a great dad. I, we were in sync in so many ways. Um, and I just really liked the way he was as a person. But what I didn't realize is that we didn't have a romantic connection. And it turns out that we moved out to suburbia and five years into our marriage with two kids later, I fell in love with another man. I ended my marriage and um, we started dating. And with that, when we started dating, people would tell us that we looked very similar. And I thought it was very interesting that, you know, people would say that. So I started looking at other couples and started noticing that people look similar to me. Couples look similar. I actually have a photo of this man and myself and my grandfather because what I didn't realize is that I look exactly like my grandfather. Mm -hmm. My father had given me a picture of my grandfather recently and we photoshopped the three of us to show you the likeness and you can see in this photo the three similarities. What do you see when you look at these photos? I see similar face shape. It's okay. amazing. I mean I had no idea you know, that my grandfather looked like this. I didn't really know my grandfather. And I guess I looked like my grandfather. And then it's very hard to match up to an opposite sex person. So you have to look at a similar sex to get the idea. And a lot of times I'll match couples and I'll look at their old girlfriend or their new boyfriend to see the similarities. But um, when you're looking for similarities, you're looking just for shape. And you got to throw out color hair, throw out color skin, and just look at shape. Okay. That's David in the photo. Uh, what happened with the two of you? Well, we ended up having a relationship for 15 years. Part of it, we were married, um, but we had so much stress. I mean, we were running around with four young children, and then later on, it was teenagers, and no one was really happy with the situation. So this is the other reason why I'm doing this. I mean, if you can avoid this, there's just so much stress in a relationship, and it's not good for anyone. I think it probably, I mean, I'm not going to say it led to cancer, but it didn't help with the cancer. Right. Yet you found time in this tumultuous period to write a book. Yeah, in 2002, while I was married, <laughs> I decided I wanted to use images of celebrity couples to show the phenomena of couples looking alike. And I know you continued your research beyond that book. I knew that it was very difficult for single people, and the older you get, that it's even more difficult. And I wanted to do something about it. And once I got the diagnosis, I decided that this was what I had to do. There was no ends buts about it. And um, we, I hired a consulting team that did the research. We all worked together. And we found that psychologists, neuroscientists, and sociologists have been doing studies on this for years. And they're concerned with you know, why people come together for this reason. Is it a trust issue? Or is it imprinting? Whether it be family imprinting or self-imprinting? Or is it narcissism? And I'm not a scientist, obviously, but I just felt like it's not any of those. I mean, I think it's, it has to do with our innate urge to mate. And there's actually a part of the brain that's called the fusiform gyros. It's in the frontal lobe of your brain that all it does is process faces. Mm -hmm. And when it processes faces, it looks at the whole face. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's so important for mating because that's what you get connected to. That face connects you back to yourself. I know some of this academic research dates back 50, 60, 70 years even. Um, tell me what parts of it you use to help shape your website. Well, we have broken down our website into four stages of love, if you will. And the first being the chemistry and the, you know, the facial connection. Mm -hmm. And the second being style, which you probably may even know before you, uh, you, may, you may have met that person. Mm -hmm. or you, you know immediately in a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. You already know that their style is similar to yours. Okay, so you have the face down, you have the style down, then it's values. And that's where you have to have a conversation with someone. If someone is super religious and you're not, that's not gonna work. So that puts you off or, or whatever, you determine that. 
But the fourth thing is personality, and no one's going to be able to help you with personality. That's really up to you spending time with each other or living with each other or whatever. So we have it down to those four areas of a relationship. I know you have a request to make of viewers of this video. Yes, I do. Um, I can't help people find love unless they sign up at findyourfacemate.com. I mean, we need a bigger database. And without that database, we're not going to be able to connect people. So I'm asking, tell your friends. It's free. There's nothing to do. Just upload a photo. And it takes literally five minutes. Christina, any final thoughts? Yes. In my life, I've made a lot of mistakes in the love department. And I'm hoping that people learn from my mistakes. I'm sharing my mistakes with people so that they learn. I really believe that love is like the prize. When you get it right, it's the prize in life. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing with findyourfacemate.com. Thank you. Thank you.